Welcome back to another story time. And this one, I'm going to tell a story about when I slapped my ex. This was like way back in high school. <clears throat> like I was in high school and then he was just like out of high school, but like he was helping out with um, the play that we were doing. But him and I dated for a couple months. Like, or a month, I don't. I have no idea how long. There was a point where I just decided that I wanted to break up with him. To be honest, <laughs> during the relationship, I was kind of a jerk. Like, the moment I told him I loved him, first of all, I didn't. <laughs> Second of all, it was while I was on my way going camping, and I did it at the last second before I lost service, and I said, I love you, so then he was kind of, you know, He freaked out and wasn't able to text me back really because I wasn't, you know, I didn't, I couldn't get it until I got back from camping. And I did that just because I thought it'd be funny to mess with him. Yeah, that's kind of rude, so. I was kind of a, a jerk girlfriend, but. Anyways. <laughs> I broke up with him. He freaked out. Mostly because I broke up with him over text. Like, we didn't have a lot of time spending together. Like, the only time that we, like, were around each other was at rehearsal for the play. And so I couldn't, like, break up with him in front of everybody. So, I broke up with him over text. And I tried to do it as nice as I could. I just, I didn't want to be with him, so I had to break up with him. So, uh... <laughs> After I broke up with him, he started telling people that I was like seeing somebody else. So that I was basically, like I was basically cheating on him before I broke up with him. All I said when we broke, when I broke up with him, was that we should just, you know, see other people. That's what people, that's what people say, you know? Like, I just didn't want to date him anymore. And, you know, if I wanted to date somebody else, then that's kind of the right thing to do, is just break up with someone. But I didn't. I didn't have, like, anybody in mind. I wasn't seeing anybody. I wasn't cheating on him. Not that kind of person. But he was basically telling people that I broke up with him for somebody else and that I had already seen him or something. And, like, he has a history of this one of my friends he dated for a while a long time and he claimed that she was cheating on him and all this you know crap after i broke up with him and realized that he started you know saying stuff about me too was when i started believing my friend which i should have believed her like the entire time but i didn't but I should have. And he keeps like making drama like with a whole bunch of girls throughout like the school and stuff. Like another one of my friends says that he like, <sighs> yeah, she had to go to um, the theater teacher to, you know, ask for him to like never be able to step foot at the school again because she was just done with him and he was crossing lines and yeah he was he's crazy <laughs> so he was really a jerk guy did not handle breakups very well he kept trying to come up to me to try to make things better even though he was telling lies about me so i did not take that very well i was like i don't want to get back together with you so leave me alone but he kept trying and trying. And so eventually I told him, dude, you're, cr you're crossing a line for me. You need to leave me alone. And if you try talking to me again, I'll slap you. So he walked away. And then another one of my friends that was kind of his friend too, decided to convince him to talk to me again. 
Like, if she was a true friend, she would know that I want my space and that I don't want to talk to him anymore. She was, she was not nice. Our mutual friend walked up to me and said, hey, give him another chance. I said, no. She didn't listen, brought him to me. He started talking to me and I slapped him in front of everyone. I warned him. <laughs> and I walked away and my friend, our mutual friend, not my friend anymore, came running up to me yelling at me saying that I should not have done that, that that was really rude and I'm all like, I don't care. He's been the rude one. I told him, don't talk to me again. He needed to leave me alone. Like I, he deserved it, okay? And then later on I was talking with other people and I was like, yeah, did you see that I slapped him? And they're like, yes, finally somebody did. Like, everybody hated him, except for, like, a few people that are weird and decided to take his side, like our mutual friend. I'm editing right now, and so I, I forgot to mention, also the teachers said that, I mean, like, they said, like, I can't completely take your, you know, your side or something, but they knew his past. And so they kind of, they didn't really, you know, punish me or anything. They just said, well, we can't really take your side because we didn't see what happened. That's like all I said. But they, <laughs> they know the drama around him. They know that he's not a good person. So they're like, yep, yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> so yeah, even the teachers agreed that he was a terrible person. Everyone was so happy that I actually, you know, took action and slapped him because he deserved it. Never talk to me again. <laughs> Except for, I think, a couple times. I think he wrote me a note once. And then he sent me a message over Messenger on Facebook inviting me to his, like, mission farewell, which I responded badly to. I mean, I just got, I told him a billion times to leave me alone and... He wasn't, he thought, you know, over years it would change, but no. <laughs> I'm moving on. Let go. <laughs> and so, yeah, that friend, that our mutual friend, we've pretty much hated each other for years. I just never thought that she was a good friend anyways, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't matter that much to me. So yeah, don't mess with me. I tell you to leave me alone. Okay, I'm not that threatening. I actually don't like fighting, but. Side note, kind of to lift things up at the end of the video. Today, which is like, we're, I'm filming this on Thursday, even though this is coming out Friday. But today, Thursday, is AJ and I's six month anniversary. I can't believe it's been half a year. We decided that, you know, like week long break was just a kind of like a break from each other. So we kind of decided to go back to, along our track instead of starting all over again with month one. Cause that'd be too like, I don't know, weird. Um, yeah, six months. Happy six months, AJ, I love you. I can't wait for our year anniversary. It'd be really fun. So we just have to, you know, do this again. No, the much the much of the time that it took up, we just have to do that again. And then it'll be a year. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry, okay. I'm just I like I can't believe it's been six months. Like that's what people say all the time, but like honestly, can't believe it. I'm really happy. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this story. Um there's a, you know, a couple other ex-boyfriend stories that I still have to share with you guys. <sighs> this one, honestly, was probably the least interesting one. So. Look forward to the, to the next story time videos. This week's shout out. It may seem a bit lame, but honestly, I haven't given her a shout out yet. And I think she should get a shout out. This shout out. <laughs> 
is to my mom. She makes sure to watch every single one of my videos and gives them likes. Thanks for the support. I love you guys. Bye.